Hey everybody, I want to welcome you back to another episode of Westminster Wednesday, where each week we look at one question from the Westminster Shorter Catechism and explore its meaning and significance for our lives today. Now, we saw in question 84 that every sin deserves God's wrath and curse, both in this life and that which is to come. In other words, the penalty that we have earned because of our sin is God's judgment. Now, the good news is that God sent his son to be a substitutionary atonement for us. And what that means is that Christ stood in our place and he bore the judgment of God so that we wouldn't have to experience it. However, it's essential for us to understand that Christ's death on the cross does not in itself save anyone. There's something else that we must do in order to receive the benefits that he achieved for us on the cross and escape God's wrath and curse. And that's what's addressed in question 85. Question 85 asks, what does God require of us that we may escape his wrath and curse due to us for sin? And the answer, to escape the wrath and curse of God due to us for sin, God requires of us faith in Jesus Christ, repentance unto life, with the diligent use of all the outward means whereby Christ communicates to us the benefits of redemption. Now, you'll notice that that answer mentions three different things that we must do, what God requires of us. The first is faith in Christ. The second is repentance unto life. And the third is the use of the outward means. Now, all three of those we're going to explore in future questions, and, and we'll look at each one individually. But what I want to do in this episode is just look at that answer as a whole. And what I want you to see is that the answer in uh, in response to question number 85, calls us to do the same things that Jesus called us to do when he started his ministry. After Jesus was baptized and tempted in the wilderness, Mark's gospel tells us this. It says, now after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Now, notice when Jesus preaches the gospel here. The first two things he says we must do if we're going to respond to his call are to repent and believe in the gospel. Now, I want you to notice that those are the same two initial things that are mentioned in question 85 as uh, a response to uh, in, in, in response to the question of what must we do to escape God's wrath and curse, the first two things that are mentioned are repentance and faith. And it's important to remember that repentance and faith are really two sides of the same coin. Repentance means to turn away from my sin. It involves uh, turning away from my sin and letting go of it. And faith is the opposite side of that, is a turning to Jesus and embracing him. So my sin and Christ are like two destinations in opposite directions. And repentance and faith are two sides of the same coin. I cannot turn to Christ unless I'm ready to turn away from sin. And so the two initial things I must do if I'm going to respond to the call of Christ and the good news of the gospel are repentance and faith. As Jesus said when he began his ministry, that we are to repent and believe in the gospel. And so question 85 presents us with a very serious decision to make, and it's the same decision that Jesus called people to make at the beginning of his ministry. How will we respond to the gospel? Will we repent and believe, or will we continue to go in the same direction with our lives and ignore his call and refuse to repent and believe. I want you to know that that decision has eternal implications because the Bible says, just as the catechism says, those who repent and believe will escape God's wrath and curse, while those who do not repent and do not believe will not escape God's wrath and curse. And so you see there's really no neutral ground when it comes to the call of Jesus. You can accept his call and you can embrace him or you can reject his call and you can continue to go in the other direction. But those really are the only two options. So for those who have ears to hear, let them hear. Jesus says the time is fulfilled 
The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel.